Hey all, and welcome back to episode 10 of our Craftopia Let's Play. Today I just wanted to jump right into the Bedrock Island clay farm that I was going to do in the last episode, but we ran out of time for. So I have all of the stuff set up over here, and let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put down this bedrock that I made that is just the sand bedrock. Um, I had gone through and taken care of all of these... Hmm. Where'd it go? Ah. I had already gone through and broken all of the bedrocks that were here. And I wanted to put this sand one in here because it's healable. So it can go on forever as long as we have the monos on them working. So that was the first thing. And then let's go ahead and set this up. So let's make a platform and put down the excavator. I want the snapping on because I know that that throws it directly to where I'm standing. And there they start to go, although it was a little bit up. So let's put it... there we go. That'll go all the way down. Yep, there we go. Alright, so a platform on top for the mono healing. And I'm going to actually use a recycler with this. It will be just a little bit of extra stuff. Now we get the recycled materials from the eggs and stuff from the monos. And... and you go there. get those monos on so we can get that healing going right away. Hopefully these guys will be high enough level to actually heal as much damage as the excavator is doing. Alright, now let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the water. Uh, right here looks good. All right, so I'm gonna put a bunch of water purifiers down here. This is just a similar setup to what I have actually on my base, but this one's just gonna go directly into the farm. Oddly enough, you can stack these guys a little bit closer if you go from left to right instead of right to left. I don't know why. It's kind of odd. It must have something to do with hitboxes or... I don't know. But... There we go. There. Put a fan. Where is my fan? There it is. Plop that in. And those are uneven. Why are those all uneven? Okay. Well, let's fix that. It probably doesn't make any difference to the farm whatsoever, but I'm weird like that. I like things to be even. So, here. Oops. Closer. There we go. There. Two, three, and four. Your droppers. Anyway, yeah, this is just very similar to the one that I did on my base. Uh, it even goes directly into the chest. And let's see. All right, so let's put a chest here for all of the sand. Right, now we just connect these up. There's the workbench. Oh, there you are. And the craft connectors. And let's set the workbench up. 
down to clay. There we are. All right, now we need a dropper on it that will go directly into this chest. Let's just frame this out a little bit so stuff doesn't go flying or so it looks better anyway. I don't think anything will go flying, but you never know with this game. All right. I need a... What? Why isn't this... All right, let's put the absorber on this chest real quick. All right, and hopefully this will work. I tested this design in creative mode, but I haven't actually tested it here because I didn't want to place the uh, the bedrock just yet. So, I, it, you know, creative mode is, is a little funky, so hopefully this will work. We will see here in just a moment when the water comes out. Uh oh, that little guy's getting stuck. I'll have to fix that. But, yeah, why isn't this starting? Okay, I have no idea why this isn't working. There are, there is water in there. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go fiddle around with a little bit and see what's going on and hopefully figure out why this isn't working. It might be... I, I don't know for sure, but it might be actually that they can't receive two inputs and it's only looking for one and doesn't have the materials. So let's find out and I will be back in just a moment. Sadly, after quite a bit of troubleshooting, I did have to change the design slightly to use the automatic assembly machine instead. I really don't like these because of how big they are, but... For some reason, it wasn't allowing two inputs into the workbench, so I did have to change it. But it seems to be working good now. We've got up here, we've got the monos going into a recycler, and the recycler actually brings up recycled materials with all of their waste that they bring out. And that gets tossed into this chest here. And then the water goes there, the sand goes there into the automated machine and out into the large capacity container. And look at that, we already have 35 of them in there. A little bit bigger than I had hoped for. It's actually encroaching on this little area here, so I might have to turn it around. But it does work. So we do have an automated clay machine. All right, well, that's one farm down on our Bedrock Island. Hopefully over the season we'll be able to do more as things come up as we need them. All right, so one of the things that I have been putting off doing was actually changing my skin. As you may have noticed a few weeks ago, my main character actually changed appearance and I didn't really say anything about it, but the Steam version of this game has something very cool called, I think it's pronounced Vroid or Vroid, I'm not sure, but it allows you to completely customize your character and use that skin in here. So if you just close your eyes, I am going to change. And there we go. I now have my Vroid character. Very cute. Uh, I actually didn't make this one. I made the other one, but I saw this little elf in there and decided that's perfect for my little elf. She's got the same pink hair, but she's just a little bit more adorable. And definitely with that giant staff. As long as you're on Steam, you can actually use Vroid. You can completely customize your character. I've seen little mono squirrels. I've seen people as saws and just people going around and doing, uh, you know, characters that look just slightly different or just changing their clothing, you know, because these these clothings are completely customizable. You can see I still have the old armor on, but the hat does show. You know, I'm not wearing that. I'm wearing some cute little dress thing that I am going to change because unfortunately, when I sit down, it is not PG. <laughs> 
Alrighty, so I think next I want to actually try and decorate the rest of this merchant farm that we did last week and see what I can get it to look like. You know, right now it's pretty plain, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this new little magic elf can do as far as decorating. That actually took a lot longer than I anticipated, but I think it looks pretty cool, you know? It's got... each one has its own little theme, you know, and I, I thought this was cool, you know? But, uh, they all have different items on top, and I think it looks pretty neat. It's still a little empty in the center. I may figure out something else to do to kind of just maybe add just a tiny bit more. I don't know. Uh, Maybe less is better in this case. All right. So now what I really want to do and what I had planned to do was actually capture that griffin that I found in the royal tomb that was to the south of us. So let's go ahead and do that. machine. We're gonna capture Bob into a pet and tame. Woohoo! All right, now we've got two flying mounts. That should be enough to handle pretty much everything in hell. Um, just in case one of them has an issue, the other one is ready to go. Hello, baby. I do love griffins. They are my favorites, so. And they're done so well. And unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe and have a great day.